Yo, 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 what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel in another World of Tanks Bliss video, another review, this time about the Charioteer. You saw in the last video I made already uh, a review about the Challenger and now the Charioteer going for the Conway and then for the FV4005. I'm so excited to unlock soon this beast, this big fridge, the tier 10 British tank destroyer. So let's focus now on this tank, the charioteer, and how to play with it. I'm going to skip the part of uh, checking out the armor of this vehicle because we have a paper armor of the tank, so no need to talk about it. But interesting how I'm playing with this tank. Because I'm playing very aggressive, I didn't mount in the tier 10 gun on it. With the tier 10 gun, we have 350. Uh, damage to 125 more hit points, but for that we will have a longer ruler time and this gun just doesn't fit to my playstyle. We will have also better penetration, but less DPM, as we can see there, uh, less 700 DPM less and longer ruler time, 4 seconds more. So completely no go for me, because I'm gonna show you here how to play extremely aggressive with this tank, with the tier um, 9 gun. It's already enough because with the tier 9 gun, even we are not using calibrated shells, or we will have we still have enough penetration to penetrate tier 8 and tier uh, 9 heavies. We're, we're going to have how much exactly uh, 261, 258. For me, it's enough. For me, it's really enough. That's why I'm going for gun warmer, super charger for long distance shots, and uh, for that, we, we don't lose a lot of penetration from distance. Refined gun, we have an insane accuracy with this gun. Defense system, very important. If you don't use it, your crew will be always injured. Improved assembly, enhanced racks. Uh, concealment is insane. That's the big, big uh, advantage with this tank that we have 70% of concealment, and that will help us a lot while we are playing sneaky. But we are not only to play sneaky with this tank, also aggressive because. It's gonna be really sad if you don't use the full potential of this tank. Uh, it's really an insane fast tank destroyer. Uh, sometimes I'm confused why playing with this video with this tank. I think I'm playing with a light tank or with a medium tank. We have really an insane, incredible, incredible uh, mobility with this vehicle. So I'm using here very important the spoil liner because a lot of tanks will try to spam you with HE or with hash shells. Be aware, of course, of kind of, I don't know, T-49, Caliban, g -Saw, those tanks who have best shells reloaded, they will spam you with that, so that's why use definitely the spot liner, and with that, you can reduce the damage from high explosive shells up to 20%. Improved fuel, and with that, we will have better speed, and I'm also using the pudding tea, and with that, we will have 137 uh, more DPM and 0 0.2 seconds faster reload time. You will need it definitely on the battlefield. Consumables, I'm going this time for a risky combination. Only one multi purpose persuasion pack, Azuraline, and improved in giant per boost. And you will need this too, especially for example, if you want to run away from critical, dangerous situations, or if you want to rush an enemy and surprise him. Use improved engine power boost, use adrenaline and say to the enemy au revoir. Because with adrenaline and this improved engine power boost, you will have a speed of something about 55 km per hour up to 60 km per hour rushing on an enemy and with 3.6 seconds of reload time for 20 seconds. So you are going to eat the enemy in a matter of seconds and that's really very, very helpful. With this gun here, we have 225 of damage. Penetration, we saw it. Armor is trash. Be careful. Speed is insane. Rotation is insane for a TD. And also the gun depression is insane, which will allow us also to play very, very sneaky. Look at this. It's a tier 8 tank destroyers with 10 degrees of gun depression, guys. 10 degrees. I mean, that's just insane for playing uh, from distance from hills or from high grounds and to sneak your shots without being spotted or without getting yourself in danger. So enough talking, that was in the theory, let's see what can we do here with this beast on the battlefield, let's go! So we will be starting with this battle in Alpenstadt and I picked up for you this battle because it's going to be really an insane battle with the combination 
playing with this tank like a TD going in the beginning in a TD spot then a clever gameplay a clever aggressive gameplay uh, and in the end a nice team play to finish the last enemy tank so it's gonna be a nice combination and a good showcase for this vehicle how to play with it so as I told you in the beginning I'm playing from distance like we should do with a tank destroyer with a paper armor we should not be spotted the E50 a medium tank doing his job trying to spot for his team the engine PZ also pushing and the first sneaky shot on the Emil 2 here we go aiming 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 Come on, go out again. Come on, dude. Go out. Boom. Here we go. I'm safe here. I'm not spotted. I'm far, far away. And uh, without the supercharger, uh, we cannot do really some clean shots like this from distance. So, let's keep moving smoothly. So now we're still in the part of playing yeah, a bit from distance but as soon as I see that there is an opportunity to rush I will do it a blind shot again on that action X oh the conqueror sorry okay so now I'm starting to realize that they are all heavy side and uh, if I will camping here like this I will not help a lot my team so let's use the speed boost and rush look at the speed guys look at the speed 48 km per hour 51 52 54 57 60 km per hour that's just insane and with that you can be the game changer with this tank I mean this this tank destroyer got the speed of a light tank man that's just insane and that's really something special between all the tier 8 TDs to have such a TD with this insane speed here we can see also a good team play again I left the T92 take a shot he fired on the Kampfpanzer 70 I hide it behind the Bindig and now um, I finished him so always about timing as always and always about using your brain a bit in the World of Tanks Blitz. Waffentrager terminated by the T92. Centurion also will be destroyed soon. Rolling back because I'm spotted. And go out again. Boom. Finish the Centurion. Roll back again. Because the T69 is right now focusing on me I will wait as soon as he will turn I will go out again for him here we go and this is the team play what I was talking about in the end of this video in the end of this battle we are going to do a nice gameplay together I know that the T69 got three shells so now I can go out again because he can't anyway finish me now missed a shot unluckily but now he is mine owned thanks to this fast roll of time look at this 3.6 seconds he got no chance against us Boom. that's it auf wiedersehen tschüss so that was yeah really a nice battle that i picked up for you a nice combination a good showcase for this vehicle especially to show you also that we can or we still can perform great battles good performance with the tank even playing against higher tier tanks tier 9 tanks that was uh yeah a tier 9 tank uh battle we got only i think two or or, or three tier 8 vehicles in this battle last but least this battle here in desert sands and uh, we are going to ask ourselves is this a tank destroyer or a like tank in this battle really uh, i mean we are playing here with this tank or i'm playing with it like a medium or like light thanks to our improved power boost here we can fly with it we have an insane speed thanks to this fast roll time using adrenaline we can flex and deal a lot of damage and that's why i say it again it's really a pity 
if you are going to use this tank like a normal tank destroyers this tank got a huge potential uh, to be one of the best steel ATDs thanks to this high TPM insane gun uh, and insane mobility I mean of course we can play it like a TD but if needed we can rush use your speed surprise enemies and yeah flex a lot look at this now I'm playing it again like a regular TD from distance I'm not spotted we have anyway an insane concealment and just farming the ISU 152 another sneaky shot on that panther I'm spotted now so uh, but he's anyway hiding and he will be finished soon so I can just keep farming and rushing and use my speed again one two three and boom let's keep going so we can see there we got the stg still alive we got plenty of tanks enemy tanks alive so we can go for more damage here in this battle which one oh look at this right there super hellcat hello my friend can I HE him with the HE shell? Nope. So let's keep farming him like this with standard shells. Here we go. I'm really a big, big fan of this tank. I mean, we can't do things like this. There is plenty of tier 8 tanks with a turret, but they don't have that speed and this fast reload time. Like the RHM, like uh, the Scorpion, like the T28. Plenty of tier uh, 8 tank destroyers with a turret and no armor but no speed and this tank got really an insane mobility at the same time this fast reload time which allows me right now to finish the T28 prototype so in my opinion this tank in the white hands if you know how to play with it we have always to keep it in mind that we have a paper armor so we need to play very sneaky but at the same time aggressive you know what I mean use your speed to surprise the enemy Sneaky and aggressive, it's really a difficult combination. Uh, maybe a few skilled players can achieve this uh, skill. And with that, we can really perform great, great battles with this vehicle. Going for 2.7k of damage in this battle. The best player of, of my team. What else I'm going to say? And I'm also very, very excited to finally unlock, um, yeah, the Conway and then um, the FV4005 also stay tuned I'm going to post soon reviews about the tanks I think the Conway will be also a similar playstyle like a Charioteer but with the FV4005 with the four shells and the magazine it's gonna be completely another playstyle so stay tuned for that I'm only 6k combat XP left to get the Conway then I have to play with it some battles like this one like the Shadow Tier as I told you I have a very good win rate with this tank playing 27 battles 75% of win rate guys so I know what I'm talking about and we should really play with this vehicle like I told you like I showed you here in this video so I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope I could improve your skills playing with this tank with the Shadow Tier I could help you with it and yeah, stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of tanks to unlock left, especially the British, the American, Chinese line. Uh, there is there are a lot of work to do and a lot of reviews will be uploaded soon. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, you know what to do. Smash the like button as hard as you can, but please don't break your phone or your mouse or your PC. Yeah and uh subscribe to the channel if you are new watching my content and see you soon in the next video guys bye bye <laughs>